Hello everyone, this is Jack Ravi and this is my last journal made as part of the design team for the Graphics Fairy. I have made six journals, this is the last one and because it's February I thought of a chocolate theme for this, um, for this journal since it's uh, approaching uh, Valentine's Day. The bundles used in this journal are the Mocha and Java ephemera bundle, the Mexico bundle, the Bittersweet Hues bundle and the coffee and cream ephemera and then I've used more bits and bobs from the um, from the premium site. I also typed chocolate ads and coffee ads and got a few things printed off. So the backstory for this journal is that it belonged to the owner of a French Italian chocolaterie in the 1950s. So this journal is made of five signatures that are stitched directly onto the cover and then I concealed the stitching here. Uh, this cover is just some wrapping paper that I boiled and stained so that it looks like a very old and aged wrapping, chocolate wrapping paper. And I also added this vintage label that I stained so that it looks like it was the wrapping of some chocolate and it became the cover of this journal. So there's a lot of fabric in this journal. I've used all the brown fabrics that I had and incorporated them along with the paper. There are some vintage photos from my own collection. Um, they, this is a picnic scene. So I've left a few spots that could be uh, used for journaling and uh, potentially even to collect recipes. There are a few labels in this journal and I named them with some typical chocolate cake or chocolate sweet. This is the same um, label that I use on the cover and I combined it with some just some foil and it looks like the, the wrapper of a chocolate bar that had been preserved. So I also extended the theme of chocolate to obviously coffee and tea as well, which I think goes really well. So there will be some ads um, that I cut out and stained with coffee um, throughout the journal. So there were some images from the Mexico bundle that I incorporated since cocoa beans are a product of South America, it fit the theme and the journal. This is a little envelope that I cut out. Um, this is from the Industrial Browns um, envelope and I just cut it and and glued it together. So I, I printed it double sided so that the inside wouldn't be blank. And then in here I've got a, a little bit of paper from a vintage Italian fashion magazine that also contains some recipes. So there's a recipe here for a chocolate cake and on the back it says cup of coffee. Throughout the journal I, I added this little bundles that I made and they're just really fun when you gather your scraps of paper or fabric, in this case also a, um, a chocolate caramel and I just combined them together and added a little safety pin to attach it. Some of my favourites, the chocolate coins. This is also an original from, the, from a, a, a magazine, Italian magazine. This is another label up from the chocolatery, the Lourdes, which is really lovely, and I stained it in with rust and tea and coffee dye. There's an envelope here, and I created that little booklet, which is supposed to be sort of like a tiny recipe book. So there's some cut-out cakes from, um, from various Italian magazines. I added a little bow here, and it's stapled at the top. 
this is a lovely photo from um, one of the um, Instant Ancestors bundles. Some tweed attached here. Tea bag. This is a French check from the Chocolateria de l'Union. This is a map of Mexico that has been stained. I had fun with some stenciling and I wrote cocoa, cocoa butter and imported on some scraps of paper and fabric. This is another check from the same chocolaterie. This is a photo from my own collection, just a really lovely scene of four people celebrating a birthday and there's a chocolate cake on the chair. Chocolates and cocoa. This is an envelope and inside this envelope there's another original photograph and it's um, probably a Christmas scene because there's some crown paper crowns and loads of chocolate cakes on the table. I've also included a few image transfers throughout the journal. It's one here and one here. This is a this is a paper bag that opens up to store things. And if you if you see some wet and actually quite sticky um, parts in the journal that is because I've incorporated some cocoa butter fragrance oil so um, if you followed my previous journals you know that I like to scent my journals and the way that I do that is usually with essential oils that I just um, either pour or soak some of the papers in and then it gets it gets soaked in so there is still some wetness and some stickiness from the oil that I used to reveal the image transfer. This is one of my favorite ads from the premium site on the Graphics Fairy and, and I torn the edges and aged the paper um, with staining and it looks really, um, really great. This is another scrap from an Italian magazine. Another image transfer on the other side of the bag, which opens up some more images of cakes from the Italian magazines. Another chocolate coin. So this is another one of those stencils that I made, which, uh, which says import chocolate. Another lovely photo from my own collection.
And on the last page is my favorite photo. I especially love her having a cheeky drink in front of the cake. And inside the cover here, there's a little bookmark slash tag. Uh, I've used um, the same check that I've used inside the journal and a few scraps with a little eyelet here. And it says count the memories, which is, I think it's enough, but the, the actual expression is count the memories, not the calories, which I thought was really fun for this journal. So this is my journal. I hope you like it. I wish you could all feel it in your hands because it feels really soft and comfortable and it smells absolutely delicious. But for now, you're going to have to accept just the video. Thank you all for watching.